first to test their skills today is Cathy. A devastating event nearly claimed the heirloom in her hands. Hi, Hi. Kathy. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Good. And she's hoping repair shop jeweller Erin can put the pieces back together again. What have you bought us? I've bought a necklace that uh, belonged to my three times great grandmother. Inside the necklace, it had the hair of her five children. Grandma gave this to me on my wedding day. At the moment, it's a little worse for wear because our house burnt down 24 years ago and the necklace was in the house. We lost everything. I mean, it's a miracle that we've got this much because to find that, um, my girlfriends all came together and helped me search through the remains of our house. They did that for me and my husband and I took it to our a jeweller and he got it to this state. I'm just hoping we can make it new again. I had a lock of grandma's hair cut before she died. Oh, wow. I have my grandmother's, my mother's, mine, my daughter's and my granddaughter's hair, so I have five generations to put back in. We're over the moon that you've brought it in and I can't wait to watch her and work away on it. I can't wait to see it finished. <laughs> Since our house fire, I've always wanted dream to have this put back. Now I've got five generations of hair to put in it. Yeah, it's time to give this necklace a new life. Jeweller Erin has taken on a Victorian era mourning pendant that was nearly lost in a house fire. As a result, she's rebuilt the chain and the pendant's woven hair centrepiece has been in the care of a specialist. It's due back in the workshop any minute. But before it arrives, she'll need to build the structure that will encase the hair. I'll need to make a bezel. The bezel is what holds everything in together. To hand make the bezel, Erin needs to make it pliable using a technique called annealing. Annealing uh, just relaxes the internal structure of the gold. And what I'm looking for is the changing colour in the gold. Super soft now. This is what annealing does. You feel like a strong woman. I'm using the rolling mill to reduce the thickness of the gold. It's too thick as it is to be made into a bezel. So the rolling beds, what they do is squish that gold and it's making it thinner. This is the jeweler's pasta maker, or the pasta maker of jewellery. <laughs> uh, I have my gold, and I have my pasta maker, and I'm making gold linguine. Rolling metal is very much like rolling down wheat for pasta. If you take it too far, you have to start again. And that's just, a, that's a nuisance to be fair. With the bezel at the right thickness, Erin shapes it to fit the pendant mm. and solders it closed. Good, we're good to go. Erin can now place the centrepiece, which has been crafted from the hair of five generations of women. Wow. We've had a hair specialist put this Prince of Wales curl together. I'm a bit afraid to touch it, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. That is absolutely stunning. It looks so much like the original. We've got the five generations of hair. Down below, we have lovely little Isla's locks there. And Isla is the family member that will inherit this. So I can't wait for little Isla's face to see this as well. I've also had one single seed pearl added in as an homage, as the original piece had some pearls because Kathy's great-great-grandmother had lost some children. But with Kathy's mourning pendant, I feel that there's a really beautiful energy in this because, in fact, the lineage is what is important here. It's not about grief, it's not about loss, it's actually about memory and honouring a strong line of women in Kathy's family. I'm actually really pleased with this, I love it. I've done my best to rebuild and restore memories, stories, and jewellery. I really hope that she's happy 
I am shaking though. <laughs>